look at this one. Here are some folks. These are, this is this church. You know, the, what are they, what, what are they, what are they called again? What is it? Westboro. Westboro Baptist. Look at this. These people, they are so hardcore in their interpretation, interpretation of the scriptures that they think the United States is doomed to hell. And the sooner all these bad things happen, pray for more dead soldiers because the United States is doomed to hell. That's just a sign. The fact that we go to war and our soldiers die is just a sign that God really hates us. So the more dead soldiers there are, the, more, the, the faster Americans will start to see the light. And we will come to a place of truly embracing Jesus Christ. In establishing Christ's kingdom here on earth. So soldiers die, God laughs. Fags doom nation, God hates fags. Plane crash, God laughs. Everything about the United States is bad. And you can say, oh, that's kind of bizarre. Those people are a little wacko. Well, at least they're not violent. Because there are these Muslims out there that they take the Quran and they somehow interpret this as though Muslims should go out and kill other Muslims. You say like, yeah, these people, they're, you can kind of laugh them off. So that's, that, that's what you get with Christianity. But they're not violent. And I say, oh, well maybe you don't know the Christians that I know. So next slide. Here's a violent movement. So these are guys from the Lord's Resistance Army. The Lord's Resistance Army in just the past few decades displaced 1.5 million, over 100,000 civilians killed, doing some horrific crimes. And you might say to yourself, well, these are Christians based on Christian ideology, killing other people. Here I have this quote from one of these guys. It's kind of interesting. He says, he, they, were, they were interviewing him in the Central African Republic. And he said, there are still nine Muslims here. We will capture them. We will kill them. When we finish here, we will go to the next village and we will kill the Muslims there too. Now, they don't represent any Christians in here unless you think that it's okay to go out and kill 100,000 people plus. But remember last class? There are Muslims all over the world. Just like there are Christians all over the world. And Muslims in one part of the world are saying those Muslims in the other part of the world don't represent us. And yet we have all these other people who sit back and put all the Muslims together in one category. Just like if you were all Muslims in here. And we would say, yeah, well Muslims slaughter people and cut their heads off. They call themselves ISIS or ISIL and they take innocent civilians, people, even Christians or whoever, and they cut their heads off. So, wow. But imagine you're all Muslims and you're all saying, that's not us. That's those crazy people. That's like her. You know, she, this person here, she's, she's the, this it's just her. It's one person out of 750. But you're all saying, look, don't look at us. So Christians right now, I could say, I, this is one movement. We can find other movements. This isn't just this thing in the past. So I can look at them and I can sit back and say, Christians, Christians are slaughtering people. Christians are slaughtering all sorts of people. What Christians are you talking about? Well, those Christians for one. And you would say, but those, they're not, A, first off, they're not Christians. And secondly, they're in Africa. They don't re represent us. And thirdly, they're a small group of people. That's exactly what Muslims are saying. 1.5 or 1.6 billion Muslims in the world. How many are part of ISIS? How many are fighting for ISIS? What percentage? I saw this percentage. It was like point, it was like 0.00068% of Muslims in the world are fighting for ISIS. That would be like all of Penn State University and one person supports killing. And we say, oh, well, Penn State, just like with Jerry Sandusky. 
And the whole Penn State community is condemned as, as you know, as being, as supporting um, a sexual assault on children. One person, one Muslim, 10, 100,000 Muslims, 200, half a million Muslims are doing this evil stuff. But there's 1.6 billion. So if I can find a half million Christians or 1 million or 2 million Christians, but there are so many Christians. There's 2.2 billion Christians in the world. Go to the next slide. What about these folks? How about this active Christians? Really? Christians don't kill and hate? The United States is filled with a history of Christians violently attacking, condemning, and hating other people. This is from the Southern Poverty Law Center. Currently, there are about almost 900 or so active hate groups, mostly based on Christian ideology, like the KKK and so on. So like, okay, so we see this. Maybe we don't see it in our lives. We don't see it in our lives, but that doesn't mean it's not happening out in the world. So because you, I don't see in the news the Christians out in the world who are killing and killing and killing, doesn't mean it's not happening, but my focus is more on the Muslims because this is what I see in the news, killing and killing and killing. So my attention can turn there. Now my goal here is not to say they're the same because they're not the same because currently at this point in history there are more Muslims who are violating what I think are the basic tenets of this holy book in this deep, deep way of really horrifically assaulting people than there are Christians who are violating this holy book. Although we can look at these. We can actually look at that. And maybe if we look at it from a certain angle, maybe there aren't more. Maybe we just don't see it in this direct way. But more on that later. But you get the point. There are some really ugly, hateful, evil Muslims who are doing really an injustice to life by taking this and interpreting it in the way that they do. And I say that cautiously and judiciously. Even for me, you know, I, I travel a lot. And I travel to a lot of Muslim countries. And I've spent a lot of time in Muslim countries. And even me saying what I just said, knowing that that will be out on YouTube basically in perpetuity, makes me, I feel a little cautious about that. Because there are some crazy Muslims out there right now. There aren't crazy Christians out there right now who would take me down for what I said about Christianity. Unless I went to the Central African Republic or Uganda or Southern Sudan or a number of other countries where I'm probably not going to go in the near future. So even I say that with caution. So you get, we're here, okay? <laughs>